I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, December 2014. A tax checklist for immigrants to Canada. Canada today is an amalgamation of cultures and people from all over the world calling this country home. Below is a tax checklist of important matters to consider when immigrating to Canada. First, start making Canadian tax filings. Canada taxes people if they are residents. You'll face tax on all of your income, including income from outside Canada. If you earn passive investment income inside a foreign corporation that you control, you may have to report that income on your Canadian personal tax return and you'll have to file a form in addition to your Canadian tax return. The penalties can be steep if you fail to report this income, called foreign accrual property income. Also, you'll need an additional form to report the existence of your foreign assets, not personal use property, if your total cost of such asset exceeds $100,000. Property received from foreign trusts and the ownership of foreign subsidiaries must also be reported each year to the Canada Revenue Agency. Second, obtain a social insurance number. This key document will be your account number for your personal filings each year. You'll also need a social insurance number to receive government benefits, arrange for certain banking services, and to work for an employer in Canada. If you carry on a business in Canada, you'll need a business number and, most likely, a goods and service harmonized services taxation number as well. Third, track your Canadian cost base. When coming to Canada, you'll be deemed to have acquired any of your capital property at fair market value immediately before becoming a Canadian resident. This means your adjusted cost base for Canadian tax purposes will equal the fair market value of those assets at the time of your arrival. Thus, you will only face taxation on the gains accrued and realized after becoming a Canadian permanent resident. Next, check the status of your non-Canadian trusts. If you are the settler of a non-Canadian trust, or if you are the beneficiary of such, be sure to visit a tax professional to determine whether the trust will also be considered resident and therefore taxable in Canada. Next, consider the status of your non-Canadian corporations. If you control one or more foreign corporations, it's possible that they may now be resident in Canada for tax purposes. The corporations may be required to file Canadian tax returns and pay tax here. However, there may be relief available under a tax treaty with Canada to avoid double taxation. Next, be aware of withholding tax requirements. If you move to Canada and continue to make payments of passive income, such as rent, royalties, or certain interest to non-residents of Canada, there may be a requirement to withhold tax from these payments and remit the tax to the CRA. This rule applies even if the payments are made from a foreign bank account. And last, understand that immigration trusts have changed. It used to be that before arriving in Canada, you could have considered creating an offshore immigration trust to own certain assets for the first five years of Canadian residence. However, the rules changed in 2014 and the Canadian federal government abolished the tax holiday. Finally, apply for important cards you'll be required to obtain a permanent resident card as official proof of your Canadian permanent residence status, as well as a provincial health card to obtain universal health care benefits. Source, The Globe and Mail.